CBC Boxing, yeah? Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. So, I've literally just watched an interview with Steve Bunce um, on IFL TV, which is why I decided to pick up the mic and do this video. Um, and he spoke about how Mark Breland, this is, the, this is the first I've heard of it anyway, how he left Mark Breland outside the change room, Deontay Wilder, after he got whooped. And I mean whooped by Tyson Fury um, in their second bout. Now, you know, Mark Breland, he threw in the towel. And then, you know, there's obviously these rumours that Wilder wasn't happy. And before I get into all that, Wilder has been ghost, as we all know. Wilder has been ghost since he got whooped by Tyson Fury, yeah. And Wilder, you know, in terms of his character, he's not really known to be a quiet person. He's quite loud. He's quite arrogant. You know, he, he... Well, this is the boxing character he portrays anyway. And, you know, the guy even said he wanted a body on his record. Can you imagine? The same guy that went on Breakfast Club who said he wanted a body on his record almost became a body. How life comes at you fast. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, but the main reason why I want to do that is, like... that, that That's extremely disrespectful, man. Like... The guy literally saved your life. The guy was bleeding from the ear. When you bleed from the ear, that's serious-ish. I don't want to swear, but that's serious. When you're bleeding from the ear, yeah, that is, stuff is serious. And Mark Breland is a res very, very, very respected person in the boxing scene. Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, world champion. Yeah. He's been with you for eight, for a long, very, very long time. I think eight years he's been with you. You know, through thick and thin. And that's how you treat him by... You know, kicking him out of the camp. Getting a new trainer in. Now, according to Bunce, you know, he said he spoke to Mark Breland. And when they was, I don't know if, I don't know if they were outside the change room or this was after. He was trying to be part of the grieving process. You know, he wanted to, you know, he wanted to tell the ex-world champ, you know, keep your head up. You know, it's not over. But to completely disregard him, man. I guess, listen, after a boxing match, I guess your adrenaline is up. But it, it, it kind of shows you the character of the person, man. I'm sorry to say. Like, I find this a bit disrespectful to just kick someone out that has helped you, you know, on your up. It's good to have people with you on your up and your downs, man. This guy was willing to help you on your downs. You know, Mark Breland seems like the kind of person... I To be fair, I haven't watched too many interviews of Mark Breland uh, or really studied, you know, the personal years. I've just... You know, kind of read up brief things about him. So I don't really know what he's like as a person. But from what people in the boxing scene have said, he's very respected, you know. And to just to just get a new trainer in like that. And then, but from what Bunt said anyway, the fact that he was just left outside, didn't even bring him out in the change room, man. To me, that's a bit disrespectful, a bit of a low blow. But just thought I'd just bring out that. Is this oh, is this new to you guys, or or am I just late on this? You know, Wilder has been quiet, so I haven't heard anything. This the first I've heard of it. You know, this this story here. But so I thought I'd just bring it bring it back. But let me know what you guys think. Who 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 do you not think Wilder should next trainer should be? I, I watched a video of Hatman Strikes Back down, and he was talking about some UK trainers, which doesn't really make sense. He was talking about Adam Booth. Because um, Wilder came here when Hay was um, fighting. I forgot who Hay was fighting, but I think Wilder was used as a sparring partner. And I think, there's, yeah, there's, there's actually a sparring session of them two. And I think Hay, you know, he, he, he hits um, Wilder and he stumbles. And Wilder stumbles. But I was thinking maybe Jonathan Banks. You know, Jonathan Banks might be decent. I don't know what... Um, how much he could prove his game, but you know, Banks has trained Dylan White, he's trained Klitschko, you know. So, but anyway, CBC, I'm out.